The incredible history of the Ray-Ban Wayfarers, the coolest sunglasses on Earth. In this video, I'll tell you about the rise and fall and rise again of the Ray-Ban Wayfarers and how they became the iconic sunglasses we know and love today. And by the end of this video, I think you'll agree with me that these are the coolest sunglasses in the entire world. It all started in 1952. That's when Raymond Stiegman designed the original Ray-Ban Wayfarer. He wanted to design edgy, rebellious looking sunglasses that embodied the style of Cadillac tail fins and Eames lounge chairs. And the funny thing is, he actually captured it perfectly. The frames are set at an angle that perfectly resembles an Eames chair. And once you notice it, you can't unsee it. It perfectly captures the essence of an Eames chair. And these chrome pieces at the temples give it that swanky look of an old school Cadillac tail fin. I knew these glasses were cool the first time I saw them, but learning this gave me a way better appreciation for them. Through the 1950s and 60s, the Wayfarers exploded in popularity, but then sales declined through the 70s. They had a slight bump in 1980 with the release of the Blues Brothers, but in 1981, sales declined again, selling only 18,000 pairs. The future didn't look bright for the Wayfarers. That is until Ray-Ban made a product placement deal to have the Ray-Ban Wayfarers placed in movies and television shows. The most iconic of these being the 1983 film Risky Business. Ray-Ban sold nearly 400,000 pairs of Wayfarers that year. Additional appearances in movies like The Breakfast Club and TV series like Miami Vice led to 1.5 million sales annually. But times wouldn't stay good forever for the Wayfarers. And that brings up an interesting point. You may own a pair of Wayfarers yourself, and you're wondering why your frames look a little different than mine. They may not have quite the same angle as the sunglasses you see on the screen here. That's because the sales slumped again in the 90s, so Ray-Ban did a significant redesign and released the RB2132, also known as the New Wayfarer. This design made the frame smaller and less angular, losing the resemblance to the Eames chair. And for the next 10 years or so, those were the only Wayfarers you could buy. Raymond Stiegman's edgy, rebellious design was gone with the wind. That is, until 2007, when Ray-Ban noticed vintage Wayfarers were selling for insane prices on eBay. Celebrities were seen wearing vintage Wayfarers, and people just wanted the old look back. So Ray-Ban decided to bring back the original design, and in 2007 released a new product called the Original Wayfarer, also known as RB2140. This brought a return to the sunglasses' original design, and those are the sunglasses you see here in the video, the RB2140. Handmade in Italy, with polarized crystal glass lenses. Undoubtedly, the coolest sunglasses on Earth. You can buy them on Amazon. I'll put a link to this exact pair down below. A vintage pair of original Wayfarers would cost you about $1,300, but you can get a pair of these for about 200 bucks. So I recommend you order yourself a pair before they stop making them again. That's all for me today. Adios, Slim Wallet dudes. I'll see you in the next video.